guys, so today I am doing my September and October wrap up and November TBR. So I am filming this on October 29th, which is why I got my little get up. I have part of my costume. I'm going to be a female version of the Mad Hatter this year. I'm 23 and my 15 year old cousin let me borrow her costume. She's a very tall girl. I am a very short girl. Anywho. So yeah, that's why my makeup is a little brighter than usual this time. A little Halloween spirit. Hopefully I post this on Halloween. If not, that's slightly awkward, but that's okay. Still rocking Halloween past Halloween. We'll see. Anyway, okay, so I'm gonna get started with my September TBR. I was on my trip in September. I was also renovating my new house, so I had no time to read hardly. I did finish, coincidentally, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. There's me, the Mad Hattie. This is a gorgeous Barnes & Noble leather edition, but you know, I really hated this book, to be quite honest. Through the Looking Glass was a little better, uh, they're two separate stories, but I was just expecting something so whimsical and so fun and adventurous, and it was just all very confusing, hard to read because it's just so... I don't know, it was just so weirdly written. Uh, there's some nice illustrations in here though. It was just so awkward, just so, so weird. I started Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone in September. Uh, this is a reread for me. And I finished it in early October, but the majority of it was read in September, so I'm just gonna count it as my September read. And it was just as great as the first two times I read it. So, so great, I loved it. So yeah, I only read two books in September. It was awful, but that's okay. October was an amazing reading month for me. I read five books. This is the second book in the Maze Runner series, and I think I gave it like a 3.5. I just felt like some of it was, I don't know, it was really action-y, which was good. It was fast-paced, but hardly any of my questions got answered in this book. I just felt like it was a very prolonged action scene with a lot of dying and stuff like that. There were a lot of new elements that were introduced in this book though and I didn't hate it. Um, so yeah, it was it was good, but I did like the first one a lot more. I just finished today actually the final and third book, which is The Death Cure, also by James Dashner, Maze Runner Trilogy. I gave this one a 4, 4.5. I did like how it concluded. I read that a lot of people where, you know, kind of felt like the ending was a cop-out. Um, I thought it concluded nicely. Uh, it could have been a little more closed. It was a little open-ended. It could have answered a bit more of my questions, but I was pretty much satisfied with how this ended. And overall, I thought it was a really good series. I read Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss, the first in the Throne of Glass series. I mentioned this in my haul. I thought this was amazing. One of the best books I've ever read five stars, and I'm not really one for high fantasy, I don't know, I just, I love high fantasy movies and stuff like that, I love Lord of the Rings and all that kind of stuff, but for some reason I'm just really not into high fantasy books as much, but I read this and I think I'm taking a turn, like high fantasy, if it's all as good as this, like, ugh, I just need to get into more high fantasy, this was amazing. I also read Fallen Too Far by Abby Glines. This is the first Fallen to, or the first Abby Glines book that I ever read. She is a, a mostly new adult author. This is book one in the Rosemary Beach series, and I found out about this from April Brooks. I loved it. It's a very short book, so I kind of read this after Throne of Glass because I wanted to read something a little shorter to prevent a reading slump, and it is about a girl and she has to move in uh, to her father's house because her mother died from cancer and she has no other family left and her father has a stepson. She begins to fall in love with her stepbrother. Also, she has no money and her brother is, or stepbrother is extremely rich. So there you go. There is a new adult plotline for you. Like I said, I love that book. After I read that, I had to go into the sequel. It was just, oh my gosh, I just needed it right away. Luckily, I had it. So then I read Never Too Far by Abby Glines. Also, duh. It was a very good second book. I loved it almost as much, if not even more, than the first one. And I ordered the next one in the series. I don't know, it's hard to explain. 
The Rosemary Beach series is a very confusing series. Uh, there's a couple sub-series within it that follow different characters and for some reason the third book, there's only three books for this couple specifically, um, the third book you can't read it right after this one or else you'll get spoiled for something. So I have to read about another couple who was introduced in here or another boy that was introduced in here before I can finish this story. So it's kind of confusing but it's okay. I think I'll like it. So those were all the books I read in October. It was an extremely good reading month. Uh, very good ratings for all of those books that I just read from me. Moving on to my November TBR. This TBR is really boring. If you saw my October book haul that I just posted, um, I'll link it down below if you haven't seen it. But basically, the majority of these books are from my October book haul because I just got some really exciting books and I definitely want to read those. So kind of boring November TBR, so I'll just go over these really quickly. Crown of Midnight, of course, the second book to the Throne of Glass series. I just can't wait to get my hands on this. My hands are already on it, oh my god. Stone Cold Touched by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is the second book in the Dark Element series, and I'm just, I'm really excited to see what happens with that love triangle. All of the supernatural elements in that book are really exciting, really different with the gargoyle aspect, so I'm definitely looking forward to reading that, but that and Crown of Midnight are two really fat books, so hopefully I have a lot of time in November to read. I also want to pick up Mockingjay. Uh, this would be a reread for me, but the movie is coming out and I really want to refresh my memory because a lot of crazy things happen in Mockingjay. Finally, if I have time to read those three, I want to pick up Queen of Someday. One, because it looks so interesting. It is about the royal court. This girl tries to become the Queen of Russia and it sounds great, uh, but also it's really small. It's only about 250 pages. So I think it would help me get out of a reading slump after reading all those thick books. So that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you read this past month or what you plan to read for October. Also, are you guys planning on seeing Mockingjay? I am so excited. The trailers look amazing and every time like a really amazing um, book to movie the adaptation comes out that I'm a really big fan of the books I always try and see it on premiere night even though that's not really smart because there are some stupid loudmouth people in the theater on premiere night but I put up with it I just I just can't wait until the theater gets less crowded mm -mm -mm. so yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe if you did enjoy it and I don't know when I'm posting this but I hope you guys have a very very happy and safe Halloween so I'll talk to you guys later bye